Welcome back to my channel. This is Single Mom's Life and happy Memorial Day to everyone. And today for our Memorial Day um, celebration dinner, this is what we are having. This is what I'm cooking for my family. We're having some ribs. I'm cooking some brats. I'm cooking some corn in the cob, some baked beans, potato salad, and I'm going to hook us up a cake, y'all, for dessert. So please stick around and cook with me. Okay, y'all. I'm fixing. I got my meat all washed up. I'm fixing to season it up real good. And then I'll show y'all what this looks like. Because I'm not going to go through the whole process of everything I do to these ribs. Because I have cooked a video on me cooking ribs before. So I, I really don't want to repeat this because it's in another video, y'all. But I'm fixing to go in and season this all up. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like before I put it in the oven. Okay, y'all, so I got it all seasoned up, and the season that I use is just some garlic powder, some Cajun season, some onion powder, some seasoned salt, um, some regular salt, and then some pepper. And then also, I'm going to top this with some <clears throat> bell peppers and some onion, y'all. And then we're just going to let, let this cook in the oven for a couple hours. We're going to check it after an hour. To turn it over these are some big thick pieces too my mama she had bought these for me and these are some thick pieces of the um, country style ribs so we're gonna let this cook for a couple hours get it nice and tender y'all it has bones in it and everything so get this fixed up and then we're gonna uh, work on everything else I'm trying to get that prepared but I'm fixing to put some aluminum foil on this and stick this in the oven. And we have our oven set for 375 and we're going to let this cook for about two hours. Check it in an hour, y'all. Okay, y'all, these are what our ribs are looking like and I just turned them over. So now we're going to let these cook for about another hour so they can get real good and tender. I like my meat. I like my meat basically coming off the bone, y'all. So we're going to cook this for another hour. And then once we get that cooked and done, then we're going to add our barbecue sauce on it. So we're going to stick this back in the oven. So here I have my eggs boiling for my potato salad, y'all. I got um, my water on to cook my potatoes, which I'm fixing to add here in a minute. And then I'm going to start um, my meat for my baked beans. Okay, y'all, so now we're going to add our potatoes to this water. It's been on here boiling. I'm going to put salt in it. So we're going to let these potatoes boil down until they get tender, to our de desire tenderness for our potato salad. Next, we're going to put our corn on the cob on, and this water has been boiling on the stove as well. I put some salt in it and we're going to get these cooked to the desired tenderness that we're looking for. And I have about six. Um, uh, wow. So we're going to finish adding our corn. I think this is about eight pieces. So we're just going to let that cook to our desired tenderness. Okay, now we're going to get our meat put on um, for our baked beans. So I got two pounds of hamburger meat that I'm cooking. So we're adding our hamburger meat. The it is nice and hot already, y'all. <laughs> Also to this y'all, I'm adding some bell peppers and onion. We're going to let this cook with our meat as well. And I'm going to add our seasoning. Which we're just going to add some salt. I'm 
some seasoning salt. A lot of garlic. You don't want it too garlic. Too much garlic on it. And some pepper. And we're going to let this cook, y'all. So it's nice and done. And once it's done, then I'm going to show y'all how I mix up my baked beans. So we're going to cook this down and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done, y'all. Alright, y'all. So, I mean, it's done and this is what it's looking like. So, I'm going to fix up my baked beans. I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Also, alright, y'all. The ribs. This um, is how it's looking after two hours. I need to see how tender it is. Let me get a fork. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Yes, nice and tender, y'all. All right, let me taste a little piece of this too. Let's see what this is tasting like, y'all. I know this is gonna taste so good, and this is gonna taste good without barbecue sauce. I already know. Mmm, so good, y'all. But I'm, I'm just now to add my barbecue sauce to this. Put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes, uncover it. I may drain a little juice off of it. I may not, we'll see. But before I do that, I'm going to hook up my um, baked beans first though. Okay y'all, so we're fixing to get started on the baked beans. Um, so I got, let's see how much of this, because I got four cans of pork and beans, but I don't know if everything will fit and this container so we're going to start out with three cans first because i got to add quite a bit of meat to this and uh we'll see how much room we have we can add another can y'all so this is three cans for right now okay so now we're going to add this is three cans of pork and beans and then we're going to add our meat to this and this is hamburger meat with some onion and um, bell pepper cooked in it see y'all that's what I'm saying that's why I already see now that I'm not going to be able to add another can of pork and beans to this and I may just have to make a whole nother container of this as well because I have quite a bit of meat left y'all see this so I'm gonna have to do a whole separate one with that one can of um of the pork and beans I have y'all with this little meat but we'll see so we're mixing this up I don't know how good y'all can see this or not. But then I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like once I get the barbecue sauce added. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more barbecue sauce. So I get the color I'm looking for, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I added some more barbecue sauce. Because I'm trying to get this to the desired taste that I'm looking for so you pretty much um, keep adding barbecue sauce until you get it to the taste that you are wanting this at I'm taste it one more time y'all see what this tastes like mmm Okay. This is good. And then I'm going to add a little sugar to it, y'all. Just to sweeten it up a tad bit. Which is already sweet because it's pork and beans. So, put a little sugar in there. 
and the barbecue sauce makes it sweet as well. We're just going to put a little sugar. I know some people use brown sugar, but I have regular sugar on hand, so that's what I'm using. So then once this is mixed up, then we're going to just stick this in the oven and um, let this get nice and hot and get all the juices and flavor mixed in together. So I'll say about 20 to 30 minutes that we're going to let this cook in the oven, y'all. Okay, y'all, now we're fixing to fix up this potato salad and I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to put in this and then I'm going to mix it all up. So we're adding some salt and I may add more after I taste it. I don't know. We just have to see if this is enough <clears throat> after I get everything on here, which I don't even have my eggs ready, y'all. Shame on me. So salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic, y'all. And also we're going to add our onions. Okay, y'all had to get the rest of my stuff together. Okay, so also we're going to add some um, relish, and this is just some dill relish, y'all. I don't just deal. I don't I don't like the sweet relish. That's just my personal preference is the deal. Okay, so it's relish. And then I may add some more. I don't know. And then here's the eggs that we're gonna stick in here. And I know sometimes some people put relish. Not relish. I know sometimes some people put um celery in their um potato salad, but I'm not going to y'all. <laughs> so now I'm going to mix, um, we're going to put some Miracle Whip in this as long as, also we're going to add some Miracle Whip, which I know some people use mayonnaise, but I prefer Miracle Whip in my tuna salads, potato salads or whatever. This is just my personal preference on what I like in my salads. And then I'm going to add some mustard to this. And I will show y'all what this, um, looks like after I get it all mixed up y'all I'm gonna add my little mustard in there as well because I may add more y'all so let me go in and mix this up so I can get this right all right y'all got it all mixed up our potato salad and this tastes delicious it tastes really good and I did add a lot of sugar to this as well y'all but this tastes great just the way it is so I'm not gonna add any more seasonings to this or anything because it is really good and I'm just gonna stick this in the refrigerator and just let it chill till it's time to eat so I pulled the ribs out the oven it was in the oven uncovered for 10 minutes this is what it's looking like, y'all. Don't this look so good? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat. Oh, now I just have to fix up my bratwurst. I'm debating if I want to cook it or not. I don't know. But anyway, this is my ribs. Pretty much um, everything is done. Um, let me show y'all all of this stuff, except for the bratwurst, which I, I'm going to have to cook. Y'all been in this cooking. Y'all, I've been in this kitchen cooking for a couple hours now, and I am, like, ready to be done with cooking, y'all. And last thing, y'all, we are going to fry up these brats. And once that is done, we will be finished, and I'll show you what this looks like, and I'll show you what everything else looks like on a plate once it is done. So we have our brats on in the skillet and we're going to let this cook up y'all and I'm going to show you what it looks like and also let me show you what these baked beans look like. This is what our baked beans look like y'all. Looking good and smelling good. Look at this. Yummy. I can't wait to eat. So everything is done y'all. These are the brats. These are done and they're just some original um, flavor. Some original brats and they are done. Also, the food is done, and this is what everything looks like on a plate, y'all. Can't wait to eat. We have some potato salad, some baked beans, 
a piece of rib, I have um, a piece of bread, and a corner of the cob, which I'm going to put some butter, salt, and pepper on this, y'all. Time to eat. Get y'all a good view of this. Yes. Anyway, I thank y'all for cooking with me. I hope y'all had a good Memorial Day as well. Um, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Um, please keep leaving me comments. Please keep giving me thumbs up. And I appreciate all of y'all's support. Thank y'all so much. And y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.